say fam real quick on the water mine situation i forgot to mention something earlier so the fact that the that water mine is trying to charge some people 500 dollars to buy back their money from them is another thing that you need to look out for listen family i know some people are trying to actually pay that money in order to access your own funds but think about it like it's time to face the facts family like first of all all of the red flags were already there and unfortunately you know you took an l you know what i'm saying and and i, and I mean that in the least harsh way possible you know um but you took an l you know water mine is not coming back but if you still have faith and you got hope in that then i would just say wait it out you know ignore everything that i got to say and everything that everybody else has to say that's speaking negative against what you believe just ignore it but you really just got to face the facts that most likely you lost your money and i would not recommend sending them even more money family like the fact that you got to buy your money back you know, like really think about that. Um, and, and and even if you feel that it might be necessary because your account might have $8,000 in it or $10,000 in it or whatever the number is, family, most likely you're not going to get that back. And most likely you won't get the $500 back either. Um, like they have all the incentive. For, like they don't even have a face to any of their names. The support team. They're all just different names. They don't have faces to the company. You know, like, it's some people who said that they went and stopped by the office and all of that. <sighs> Listen, family, these are people who just have faith. And I believe that they are lying, but they just feel so bad that you might have clicked on their affiliate link and they dragged you into a burning house. So they are just saying in everything just to kind of get you to wait it out and not be upset with them and they just kind of hoping and praying that water mine does the right thing but like i said family these kind of companies companies come and go all the time the best thing to do is just realize that okay you took an l we all take l's in life i took l's in life i've lost thousands of dollars uh on on investments that i've done in the past like when, when i first started investing years ago before i got into the stock market or cryptocurrency like before i got into bitcoin like i did back in 2017 right uh and, and i've been in it ever since but ever, before i started doing that i decided that i wanted to start buying and flipping cars right listen i lost so much money buying these cars paying more money to get them fixed up and i couldn't even sell them for the amount of money that i needed to make a profit like family i lost a lot of money too so we all take l's the whole the whole thing about it is we got to learn from our L's and we got to uh, learn from our mistakes and we got to keep it pushing. You know, like only try to put your money into things that are legitimate. It's not legitimate just because some people can show you payouts, right? Because companies like this, they cannot succeed. They won't be successful if they're not paying people out because if they're not paying you out, you won't go out and promote and go tell five or 10 other people so that they can flush the company with new cash. You know what I mean? So listen, you know, like, um, it's okay. It sucks. I know a lot of y'all might have a lot of money in there, but, um, just move forward, keep it pushing. And let's start looking at real investments. Like, you know, like owning actual Bitcoin, right? Um, and if you invest in Bitcoin mining companies, invest in the mining companies that are actually listed on the New York Stock Exchange, that are actually publicly traded companies like Riot Blockchain, like Marathon. You can buy these on Robinhood, family. You can buy these on TD Ameritrade, like companies that have insurance, companies that have CEOs, companies that have faces that go with the company, companies that have real legitimate uh, um, risks. Uh, versus reward, right? Companies that's not paying out 2% daily because that's in, that's that's unsustainable, family. Like, let's be real. Every Fortune 500 company in, in, in America will be, not in America, on the planet, will be investing in a company that will pay 2% daily, if that were true, right? So um, let's just accept the fact that we might've took an L and let's just keep it pushing. You know, like uh, I believe that, the people who took an L on this, for the most part, most of us gonna learn our lesson, and we gonna and y'all gonna become bigger and better investors in the future in things that 
um, actually have long-term growth potential, not stuff that you can just flip, you know, uh, overnight or within a couple of months, right? Unless it's like cryptocurrency or uh, or your own business. Like if, if you invest in something that you can actually control the progress and the growth of, then that's something different. But I just wanted to uh, get on here real quick. I hope, Hopefully this message was encouraging, you know, but it's not over. You know, y'all can do it, you know, um, but at the end of the day, it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to get your money back. It's not like you're going to be able to take them to court. What I think happened is most likely this person was a foreigner and then he moved to another foreign country, which was the UK. And he probably set up shop over there and then he got everybody money and then he dipped back to his own country, to a country where they're not going to be able to go into his country and arrest him, Right. This, these type of things happen all the time. Look at the language. Look at the, the, the way that they spoke in their emails. They didn't even, like, they didn't even have enough, um, they didn't even invest enough money to hire somebody who can speak good English, right? Somebody, because that's the language of choice that they chose, English, right? Punctuation was bad, spelling was bad, words was in the wrong place. You know, all sun, all red flags. But family, we go, y'all gonna bounce back. I got faith in y'all. Um, and if you want to continue to have faith in Watermind, then power to you. But I think you just need to just keep looking forward. Just tunnel vision. You took your L and move forward. And if they come back and say, hey, your money's there, then good. But if not, don't dwell on it, family. That's all I got to say. Holla at your boy.